So this is the explanation of how to complete part A activity one. Now, as we said in the first video, this is the database relationship screenshot. Now, although this seems quite a small activity, uh, it is worth eight marks out of the 40. So nearly 25% uh, of your first part. OK, because there's 40 marks in total available for this part uh, for part A. So if we go to the mark scheme here, um, there are two traits. The way that these are marked is trait one and trait two. So there are eight marks available, four available for um, trait one and four available for trait two. Now it says here candidates should be using all and only attributes given in the data extract. Um, if any uh, of the attributes are missing or in the wrong table, then you fall down through the bands. The second trait focuses di more directly, not on the table structures, but on the relationship lines that exist in your database. Um, now, if one relationship line is correct, um, we ignore the relationship type, we still get a point. So even the very smallest of efforts can get you some points in this exam. Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to um, uh, import the data from the data set. Now, as we continue with this, I'm going to create the table structure first before I import the data. Now, I've already identified that I'm going to use four tables. Those are going to be exhibition, artist, gallery, and gallery type. So I'm in access. I'm going to go to uh, design view here, and it's going to prompt me for this. Now I'm going to use the naming convention TBL, and I'm going to go exhibition. And I'm going to press OK. Now remember, for the points, I can only use the fields that I'm given. So I'm going to use exhibition ID, and I'm going to use an underscore because it's there. Uh, and I'm going to use auto number. Uh, we know the exhibition has a number of days and I'm going to use the same uh, naming convention that we've got there. Now it's number, so I'm going to choose number uh, and make sure that that's key in there. Um, I want to know which uh, artist um, we're going to use here. So artist uh, ID and that's going to be set as number and I want to know the gallery ID. Okay, and that is again going to be number here. In addition to that, what we've also got on here is exhibition start date and predicted sales. Now those are in relation to the exhibition. They're not uniquely um, related to the uh, artist or the gallery they're related to the exhibition. Now we look here, it's date. So I'm going to make sure it's set as date and time. And I'm going to go down to the bottom here and make sure it's set as short date. Predicted sales is also, uh, be, also belongs to the uh, exhibition. But this time this is currency. So I'm going to make sure it's currency. And I'm going to go down here and I'm going to set it to two decimal places. OK, um, and then I'm going to make sure that currency is set to uh, currency because it's in pounds. We're not looking at euros or anything else. Um, now, that should be the exhibition table. Uh, so we will be able to go out of that. It will prompt me to save. Um, and then I'm going to create the other table. So I'm going to go to create table, uh, go to design view. This is going to be TBL uh, gallery. OK, and what I'm going to look across here, I'm going to have gallery ID. That's going to be auto number. I'm going to make sure that we've got a gallery name. Or gallery as it is, there's no gallery name. I'm going to use the same naming conventions that are on here. And what's important here, I could I could put gallery type, but actually that would result in repeating data. So it's gallery type ID that I'm going to add here. Now, this is going to be 
my prime my foreign key from the gallery type table which we will create momentarily so i've got gallery type id uh, sorry gallery id gallery name and gallery type id okay so then what we're going to do is we're going to go to create in fact we're going to save that before we continue i'm going to go create table and this time i'm going to create gallery type this is tbl gallery type pressed ok it's going to be gallery oops type id now what we have to make sure here is that it's of the same type same data type now auto number is fine providing it's long integer here if i go back to gallery it's number and it's long integer so that's absolutely fine and then we're going to have gallery type uh, field which we can see on the side here and that's going to be either commercial uh, or combo and that's a validation rule we will look at momentarily again I'm going to save that and the last thing I'm going to do is create the table for the artist now again this is TBL artist oops I've got the capitalized on and press OK and it's going to be artist ID it's going to be auto number we've got and I'm just going to double check we've got artist ID we've got artist surname that's going to be short text and I've got artist initial um, of which that is only going to be short text but we know it's going to be one letter we've already been told this so i'm going to go down to field size and check that set that to one okay and that's going to be part of our length check that we'll create later on and i've spelled initial wrong there we go now what we should have then is all four tables now what i'm going to just double check is i've not missed anything out now i think i've missed number of days which belong to the exhibition so i'm going to go back here and I'm going to put in number of days and it's really important that you go back to again that's going to be a num numerical value yep we look here it goes into two digits so that's fine it's really important that you go back into uh, the data that you've been given and double check it now once we've saved all those we can then create our relationships so I'm going to close each of these tables down because access doesn't like me working on relationships at the same time as things are open i'm going to go to database tools and i'm going to go to relationships now i'll get a pop-up a show table pop-up and i'm going to double click double click double click double click and i'm going to close that now one of the things that it said in the mark scheme and i'm going to take you back to the mark scheme now is that we shouldn't have anything that is truncated now truncated means as you can see here with exhibition start date i cannot see the field name in its entirety so i'm going to make sure that i drag each table out so i can see all of the fields without anything being cut off now what you can see from my solution here i've got artist surname artist initial artist id as per the example here i've got exhibition id number of days artist id gallery id exhibition start date I've already got a number of days there my apologies that needs to come out and predicted sales so uh, I would remove number of days there I've got gallery ID gallery and gallery type and I've got gallery ID, uh, type ID gallery type so I've already got all correct and no extra attributes or tables now if I've got this one here I would lose marks okay because that would count as one missing uh, or wrong table but what I'm going to do now is add the relationships in and I'm going to go from the primary key of one table holding the mouse down and dragging to the foreign key of another so that's artist to artist the related ones now it should tell me I've got the two fields it should say it's a one to many and I'm going to make sure I enforce referential integrity because that is part of the requirements down here so I press create and I should get a one to infinity symbol. I'm then going to go uh, gallery 
ID to gallery ID. So I find the matching one. Pri again, primary key to foreign key. I enforce referential integrity and I press create. Again, I find the matching links. I only draw from one, uh, the matching field types that I've got here. I go from one, the primary key of one to the let go and enforce referential integrity again. And what you'll see is have I got the same layout as I've got over here? If I just move this over here, I would screenshot that as we can see there. And I've got exactly the same layout as here. So I've now achieved eight points. Uh, well, I've actually achieved seven because I've got one wrong here on the example here.